The plot below shows traces for x equals negative 1, x equals 0, and x equals 2. Looking at the traces, notice how the horizontal axis is the y-axis, and the vertical axis is the z-axis. We're asked to identify the equation of the surface. To begin, we'll determine the equations of the traces for each of the four functions. Notice I've done most of the work already. I decided to use z instead of f of x comma y. To determine the x equals negative one trace, we substitute negative one for x. To determine the x equals zero traces, we substitute zero for x. To determine the x equals two traces, we substitute two for x. Let's go through this set of equations. The first function is z equals y squared plus x. So if x equals negative one, we get the equation z equals y squared minus one. For the equation z equals x squared plus y, if x equals negative one, we have z equals y plus one. For the equation z equals y squared x, if x equals negative one, we have z equals negative y squared. And for z equals x squared y, if x equals negative one, we have z equals y. You may want to pause the video and check the rest of these equations. And now we'll go through the equations for the x equals negative one trace and see what you're graphed. The first x equals negative one trace is z equals y squared minus one. This is a parabola that opens up that's shifted down one unit, which is not graphed, and therefore the surface cannot be z equals y squared plus x. We can eliminate the first function. The next equation for the x equals negative one trace is z equals y plus one. This would be a line with a vertical intercept of one and a slope of one, which looking at the graph, is the red line. We have a vertical intercept of one and a slope of one. And therefore the surface may be the second function given by the equation z equals x squared plus y. The next x equals negative one trace is z equals negative y squared. This is a parabola that opens downward with the vertex at the origin, which is not graphed. The surface cannot be from the equation z equals y squared x. We can eliminate the third function. And then the last x equals negative one trace is z equals y. This would be a line with a vertical intercept of zero and a slope of one, which looking at the graph is graphed here in blue. Which means the surface may be the fourth function given by the equation z equals x squared y. Looking more closely though, the x equals negative one trace is supposed to be in red and z equals y is graphed here in blue. So it's probably not going to be this fourth function. But let's just assume we didn't notice this. Let's go ahead and check the x equals zero traces and x equals two traces, but now only for the second and fourth function. We can eliminate the x equals zero trace for the first and third function, as well as the x equals two trace. The x equals zero trace for the second function is z equals y, which again is a line with a vertical intercept of zero and a slope of one, which is graphed here in blue the surface still may be the second function. And then for the fourth function, the x equals zero trace is z equals zero, which would be a horizontal line passing through the origin in the xy plane, which is not graphed, that would be the y-axis. And therefore we now know the surface cannot be the fourth function given by the equation z equals x squared y. Which means we know the surface is given by the second function, but let's go ahead and check the x equals two trace. So we know this trace is graphed, this trace is graphed. Let's check the x equals two trace. And then we'll look at this in three dimensions. The x equals two trace for the second function is z equals y plus four. This is a line with a vertical intercept of four and a slope of one, which is graphed here in green. So this does verify the surface is given by the second function. And again, before we go, let's look at this in three dimensions. The function f of x comma y equals y squared plus x is graphed here in green. This blue plane is x equals negative one. Notice how the intersection of the plane and the curve does form a line which is graphed here on the right. It's a line with the vertical intercept of one and a slope of one, which is the x equals negative one trace. And now let's graph x equals zero, which is here. Notice how the blue plane does cut the surface and form a line, which is graphed here on the right. Notice how this line does have a vertical intercept of zero and a slope of one, which is the x equals zero trace. And the last trace was x equals two. 
This is now the graph of the plane x equals two. Notice how it does cut the surface and the intersection is a line. Looking at the right, this line does have a vertical intercept of four and a slope of one, which is the x equals two trace. So this does verify that our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.